I can't believe I did this. What am I gonna do? She's coming tomorrow. Who's coming? My cousin Chun Mi's dropping by to see me. I haven't seen her in years. So what's the big deal? The big deal is she thinks I live in a palace. That's what. Where would she get a crazy idea like that? Where do you think? You told her? That's... That's... That's the funniest thing I ever heard! <laughs> it's not funny to me. Sorry. If she sees the real me, she'll tell the whole family! Relax, Mung. I think I have an idea. I want her visit to go perfectly. But my worried wonton, everything is already perfect. Why do you worry so? <sighs> what if her stay is not to her liking? So you all understand, right? We're gonna help Mung pretend that he lives in the palace. Oh good, I love make pretend games. I don't get it. Why did you tell your cousin you live in the palace? I don't know. She's always saying how perfect everything in her life is. And I want to show her how perfect mine is, too. Come on, Mung. Nobody's life is perfect. Really? Try telling that to my cousin. <sighs> well, I don't think this solves anything. But I guess we could teach you what we know about living in the palace. Right? Right. right. Remember, everything has to be special for her. She always made me feel special when I was a child. Ah, oh, my little niece. Auntie, how was your trip? Would you like some tea? How about something to oh, eat? Oh, please, don't go to any trouble for me. I'm just happy to see you. You'll need a bath. Yuck! I hate baths! Me too. Do you want to get into the palace or not? <sighs> this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Well, what do you think? I think I want my collar back. Tell me again why he wants to pretend to be a palace cat. Well, because he wants his cousin to think he's someone he's not. Do you understand? Uh, yes. Whoa! Huh? Wait! Let's go to the palace! Hold it! Palace cats can't run like that. What are you talking about? I've seen you running around. But that's for outside. Inside, we walk. Like this. No problem. Well? Much better. If you want to be tossed out into the alley... My day. Food everywhere! Wait till Chung Mi gets a look at this! Hold on, Mung. Now, the proper palace manners are we wait for Cook to fill the bowls. Why wait for Cook? When the feast is already here! Donggua, you know better than that. <laughs> He does look a lot like you. It's a little early, but here. Oh, how did you get in here? Back to the alley with you. 
Here you go, cat. Back to where you belong. Okay. Now I'm really having a bad day. Tough break for your brother. You gonna eat that? And when your cousin gets here, tell her this is the magistrate's study. This place is way better than where she lives. <sighs> nice room for a nap. <sighs> no, 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 not napping. We work here. Uh, come on, we better go. Forgetting something? You didn't show me how to write yet. You didn't tell your cousin you could write, too. Hey, I was on a roll. And writing's one thing she definitely can't do. <sighs> we don't have much time. Maybe if you pretend to make a couple of lines, it'll be enough. Now, watch closely. It's kind of hard if you're not used to it. Is that it? That's easy! <laughs> what? Well, I hate to admit it, but it's kind of nice not having to do anything for a change. Monk, get off your tail. Uh, hi, guys. It's me, Dong. We're all going to the wharf to search the shrimp boats for loose shrimps. You in? I'm in. Woo-wee! Thank you so much for this beautiful robe. You really shouldn't have. <gasps> Beloved niece, is something the matter? We have to return your robe to the tailor. What? Look! The stitching is already loose! How embarrassing! We must call back the tailor immediately so he can make a new one. Wow! I can't believe you really do live in a palace, Mung. That's what I've been telling you, Chungmi. I am a palace cat. See? The Magistrate let me choose these statues. He likes my taste. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, this way. What's going on? We, um, just wanted you to see how beautiful every inch of the palace is. Even Miss Vaz. Oh. Good times, huh? Mmm. Really good. And this is where I write. I can't believe that I have such an important cousin. Right this way, Auntie. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! <laughs> Mom, get down. Oh, another lovely vase. Ah, Dongwa. You must have known I would be needing you. What is the surprise, my niece? We want to give you a special gift to commemorate your visit. So this cat will write your name on a scroll. <gasps> oh, how perfect. I've never actually seen your amazing cats write. This is great. I'll be able to see Mung write. Can we get closer? No, uh, we don't want to distract him, you know. Artists. Please write this lovely woman's name. Su Ying. <laughs> Dong was writing is a bit sloppy today. Shh. Let him finish. What an awful mess! Uh-oh, big mistake! Well, I think this is absolutely beautiful. My name turned into modern art. I love it. Really, Auntie? I I'm sure one of the other cats can do a much better job. My silly niece. When will you see that I like anything, perfect or not, that comes from you? Why 
you run off? I thought what you did was great. I wish I could write. I can't write. What? And I don't live in the palace. He was just make-believing. For you. But why? Well, your life is so perfect. I just wanted you to think mine was too. Nobody's life is perfect, Mung. Hey, Mung. Huh? <clears throat> you have the greatest life. You don't have to pretend, Dongwa. She knows the truth. Pretend what? You've got it good. I got to do the shrimp boat thing, and then we watched the sunset, and Jet Jet told the greatest stories. That does sound fun. To tell you the truth, I thought the palace was kind of boring. You've seen one vase, you've seen them all. Tell me about it. Did you know you can't even run in there? What do you say we head down to the wharf? I'll show you around. Now that sounds perfect. See, Shigua? Does everything make sense to you now? Yup, except for one thing. Why is Dongwa pretending to be Mung? 